Okay, ask. I know you want to. Okay, okay, how does it feel to have a space laser melting your surface? I don't know. It's kind of annoying and slow. Yeah, like, don't get me wrong. I don't want my Earthlings to be doing this, but it's kind of underwhelming. Eh, maybe it looks cool from up close. Is Astro Dude. He should be here by now. We need to leave the planet. Wait, I'm detecting something. That is SARS spaceship. And Astro Dude, he's inside that ship. What is he doing? You are not going anywhere. Our guy. How far ahead is the space laser? Almost finished, Mr. America. We're just giving it the final touches. Oh, good to hear. Everyone's so excited about this. <laughs> uh, just double checking. Uh, there are no risks. This will not work, right? Nah, none at all. Astro Dude always delivers, I promise. Uh, hey, uh, robots. I didn't catch any of that. Hey, Sid. Hey. Last time I saw the news, only the Curiosity and Perseverance robots were still active. How are they all? Robots are resilient, Mr. Astronaut, as you'll come to learn. Earthlings are resilient, too. Sure. We are! Listen, you probably don't want to be here. I certainly don't want you to. So let's cut to the chase, shall we? Uh, what's the plan? You will exit the ship and fly all the way to the space laser. If I am correct, the robots will not attack you, and you should be able to... Hold on, if you are correct? There's a chance I'm gonna be destroyed by those robots? I'd say, maybe 20. 80-20 in favor of me surviving, or... Stop worrying about your survival, Earthling. <laughs> Once you reach the laser, use the computer to turn off the antenna. That should stop its control over the robots, allowing me to destroy the machine. Any questions? Can I trust you, Sar? Our goals align. Mr. Astronaut, that's all that matters. Then let's do it. There won't be any air in here in a sec, so you should probably get... <laughs> right. Nothing to see here. Just an honest astronaut trying to do his job. <laughs> What seems to be the robot problem? This is restricted space territory. Please return to your ship. But I'm in charge of this project. I have clearance. Sir, this is a safety precaution. Please follow me. Wait! Uh, 
What's zero divided by one? Zero. Oh, no, 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 wait, it's the other way around. One divided by zero. Nothing. Maybe you will need an update to your calculation systems. Sar? I don't think I know what I'm doing. Stop being useless, Mr. Astronaut. This isn't rocket science. Oh, not at all. This is just space laser science. Astro, dude. Computer, leave me alone. I'm in the middle of something. You are helping the rogue robot. He is your enemy. Well, right now, you are. I mean, you won't let me leave this planet. You want me to melt Mars' surface. I can't fight my programming, Astro Dude, but I do want to help you. If you destroy this laser, they will send you back to Mars. You will never leave this planet. Ugh, screw this! It worked! Huh, I did it! Okay, Saw, come over here and get rid of this space laser! One better. Sor! This wasn't part of the plan! Of course it was. I told you I would destroy the space laser, did I not? I doubt we will work together again. Mr. Astronaut, from now on, make an effort to stay out of my way. No good deed goes unpunished. Well, look who it is! You got some nerve showing your face around here, Astro Dude. I actually stopped the space laser thingy, so... Sorry, and you're welcome. I see. Well, next time, come up with another way to colonize a planet, okay? Or just, you know, tell the Earthlings to treat me nicer! Duly noted. Now if you excuse me, I have a feeling my boss wants to kill me. I don't get Earthlings. Sir, just listen- No, you listen to me, Astro Dude! You were supposed to terraform Mars! That's what I promised to Mr. America! Now all we have are billions of dollars wasted on a space laser that was destroyed! How did this happen? Sir, the thing is- No, I want to hear it from your computer. Unlike you, she can't lie to me. Tell me what happened! In short, Sar destroyed the space laser and took control of the robots. Ugh, that stupid machine! Anyways, you will remain stationed on Mars until I say so. Got it, sir? I... Was this all worth it? I don't know, but melting a planet's surface just didn't sit right with me. However you look at it, your choice may have doomed yourself and Balkind in the future. If Balkind needs to leave the Earth in order to survive, then we don't deserve another planet. Do you really think that? All I know is that we will colonize the stars one day. But not as a way to escape from our problems. Because if that's the case, then... Then maybe Sar is right. 